If you go on to enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. And if you're into Funko Pops, I've just started a brand new channel dedicated to them. The link for that can be found in the description. And beat the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on guys, Tivim here, welcome back to a brand new video, a bit of a cheapy one today, 86 rated foot birthday Sambia, I'm going to try and work my way through the majority of the foot birthday cards, we've done a few expensive ones with Mendy and Hamoso is, is up there as well, we've done a few cheap ones as well actually, Huang, now Sambia, and of course the some of the SBC ones in Podolski and Ozil, I missed out on... Um, pa was it not Pastore? Palacio. I didn't miss out on him on purpose. Wait, that's that's a lie. I missed out on him on purpose. I didn't miss out of him on him because I like forgot about him or anything. I decided not to do it. I've got a lot of fodder in my club. However, I thought outside of just doing the review, it's not really a player that I'm ever going to use. So I'd rather wait until there is an SBC of a player that I really want to do. I'm looking forward to the next couple of days. It's the FIFA I was more engaged with, really. FIFA 13, FIFA... Well, I didn't really like FIFA 14, but still. On paper, Sambia looks decent. His 74-rated Silver Stars, by the way, is very good. And on paper, unbelievably, is not actually that much worse off than this card, if you can believe it. So, there is a massive difference between this card and the in terms of rating in terms of the uh, the inform and this if you put them side by side just looking at the face stats obviously the foot birthday card looks better but when you break it down he has no more than eight difference between them which i mean is that i i don't think that's right is it i mean there is a 12 overall gap between 74 and 86 and he's only been upgraded by eight doesn't really make an awful lot of sense. I know that the Silver Stars is a little bit better than a, than a 74 would normally be, but still, 5-star skills is nice for a little bit of showboating. Weak foot is there, which is good. The medium-medium work rates could be better to high-high, I suppose, but I'm not going to moan about it too much. Good sprint speed, decent acceleration. He's good on the ball in terms of his uh, dribbling. Agility is nice. He's got the, the sort of fundamentals down of defending. His physicals are good. His passing is solid. He can hit the odd long shot you know his shot power is very very good on paper it's not a bad card and he's coming in between do I dare I say between 70 or bet between 80 and 90 rather uh he could come down a little bit more once people start opening more packs if he release some sort of party bag etc I'm sure they will because party bag foot birthday kind of makes sense but um he's in a good team I like that team a lot Cucurella by the way if you've done him and you just don't use him, get him in your team. Don't care who he replaces. Even if you take away Hullet or Vieira, don't care. You'll have more fun with Cucurella. He's such a good card. Anyway, Sambia. Is he any good? Yes, I, I like him. I think he's got a lot to offer, actually, that other fullbacks now can't offer because, obviously, he's been given this skill move upgrade, which makes him a little bit more enjoyable to use. If you play this game purely to win games and to be as competitive as you can be and to go into foot champs, go into rivals, and you want to finish 30-0 and 0 and you want to finish rank 1 in Division 1, yeah, don't pick up Sambia, pick up someone different because it's not going to be the card for you. However, if you play this game for a little bit of fun to try and, you know, enjoy it more than you do try and win the game that sounds stupid you don't play a game of football and think well if i lose i don't care because that's not the point you want to win i know everyone every time you go into a game you want to win right it's just one of those things but if you can do that with a degree of fun along the way oh look who it is it's cucarella uh if you could do that with a de to a degree of fun along the way as well why not right he's solid in defense you can play him at center back actually if you really want to he's got the work rate for it because medium, medium means he's not going to venture forward. And you can obviously tend to stay back and you should be fine. And as a centre back as well, actually, six foot one, I didn't even consider this. Six foot one, medium, medium work rates, five star skills, four star weak foot, very good on the ball, very composed, good in the air as well. 99 jumping. Obviously, you do need to improve that um, that defensive stat if you want to play him at centre back. But I hadn't really considered it, but that could be a banging option, you know. But as a full back, because I didn't even do that, I should have, but I didn't. I just played him at full back. And at wing back in a five back now and again. Not all the time, now and again. Fun to run with. That's kind of what it comes down to for me with the five star skills. I'm not using any actual five star skills in this run. And I do take it a little bit too far with that um, rainbow flick. I should have maybe tried to take one more touch to try and take Mendy on. But when you come up against Furlan Mendy, 
you have to uh, you have to sort of rein it in a little bit and try and take your cross when you can. But slide tackles with this guy, a lot of fun. He's very accurate, actually. I mean, 85 st uh, slide tackle and stand tackle. When you've got an anchor on him, of course, we are going to make that better. But it is a lot of fun to use... A slide tackle with this guy. He comes in all the time. I think he's going to get another one. No, he doesn't get another one here. I think he plays it out from the back. But he does end up getting another slide tackle in just a second. That is, um, it's really emphatic, and I really enjoyed it. Like it's one of those. That's a that's a challenge to let him know you're there. There it is, bang! Look, it just takes him out completely, but gets the ball first, so it's a fair challenge. I think he does that again in just a second. It might even be here. I don't know. Bang. Again, so good with the slide tackles. It's very difficult in this FIFA, actually, to get red carded or booked in... Well, get booked is not a problem. I can get booked in a second. Cucurella can't go through a game without getting a yellow card. But in terms of getting a red card, it's actually quite difficult. Two yellows, fine. Straight red, quite difficult. So sliding in when you're not on a yellow, there's a lot of fun to be, to be had there because you know full well the worst that can happen to you is going to be a yellow card. Here he is again. Bang. Emphatic. Takes him out. Sends him on the floor, lets him know he's there, and just gets the ball. And it's really fun to do. It might just be me. I'm one of those people who would prefer to play a very, really good pass rather than score a really good goal. Uh, I'm also one of those p people who like to go in for a crunching challenge and get the ball. Fouls can look good sometimes, but going in and getting the ball, there's, uh, there's no substitute for that. It's just a lot of fun. And he's good at it. Block tackle, slide tackle, strength is nice. It's a really good card, actually. Bang on price point. I would not argue with the price at all. I'm, I'm very critical of prices in this game. I don't think most of the cards in FIFA should be as expensive as they are. I'm not saying everyone should be able to go out and buy whoever they want with 10k, but there are a lot of uh, SBCs that come out for 250,000 coins, and they're just not 250k cards. This guy, 80 to 90. You can stick him in a, a rivals team, a foot champs team. You can use him in your objective side. He's just about low enough that you could get away with using him in manager or masterpiece now that they've upped it if you want to. I'm not a massive fan of his work rates. His attack position is poor, to be fair. He doesn't really have it going forward, bar the skills and the dribbling. And his interceptions could definitely be better. But if you just want a, a, a really solid, no-nonsense, hard-hitting defender who you could play anywhere across the back line, actually... This is your guy, honestly. I would consider it because he's going to be very easy to link into a team as well. A lot of French defenders knocking about. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more going forward as well. So why not indeed? Let me know if you've tried this guy. I'd imagine most people would have packed him by now. If you haven't done, you're not opening enough packs. Go open some more packs. But uh, let me know if you've tried him and what you think of him. I really enjoyed him, and I, I think I'm going to be using him for the foreseeable. If you have enjoyed this review, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye.